Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? You are watching Apple Facts channel and in this video I'm gonna show you how to get iPad home button on the screen. I know it's a little bit more basic tutorial, I know that many people are familiar with this already, but there are many people that will hopefully find this tutorial useful, so let's begin right now. For those that are first time here on the channel, then you should consider subscribing because on the one hand I post videos like this, uh, this a little easier tutorials, but I also post some iOS reviews and some little bit more advanced stuff, so you will definitely enjoy the content. Now what exactly do I mean by the term home button on the screen? I mean it will be the ability to press on the screen and perform the very same action that would happen just by pressing the real home button, but you are not using the real one which is placed underneath the display, but you are using the virtual one uh, which is placed somewhere on a screen. Why would you ever want to have this? Well, the main reason is because uh, the real home button is probably broken on your iPad and that's the reason why you are searching for a virtual home button. The other reason could be that you for some reason don't want to click the real one, I don't know, maybe you just want to save it, you just don't want to use it. And also the reason could be that it is easier for you. Maybe you are using this in your left hand and you just want to use it this way, I don't know. One way or another, I'm gonna show you how you can get this. So it is called Assistive Touch and this is how you can enable it. You have to open up the Settings app and navigate to Accessibility and you need to scroll down until you see Assistive Touch. Just like I said, this is the name of this feature. So just tap on it and you have to enable it. Now as you can see, this thing has appeared on the screen and now when you click on it, it's not gonna bring you home. This is not the real home button right now. Once you open it up, you have the option to click on the home, which will do as you would normally click on the home button. You're gonna come back to the home screen, but this is probably not something what you want. You would like to tap on it and get home immediately, and it is also possible to do. I think it is also useful to have another options here as well, because you have control over more things than just home button. You can of course, for example, enable Siri, which can be enabled with this toggle right here. If you hold down to it, you can also get to Siri. So this option for Siri shouldn't probably be here, but if you just want it to be strictly just the home button, you have to click on the customized top level menu. I accidentally clicked away. So let's come back there again. So just like I said, customize top level menu. And here just keep tapping on the minus icon once you only have one toggle and now you click on it and choose it to be home. So there it is. And if you come back, all you have to do is just tap on it and it's gonna bring you home. So this is the home button on the screen. It behaves just like a real home button. So you can double tap it to get the control center or you can hold down to it to enable Siri. But I just cannot get Siri to work for some reason, I don't know what's going on, but it should work, it doesn't, but anyways, it, this is how you can get the home button on the iPad. You should also know that this virtual home button is not the only way how you can get outside any app and come back to the home screen. In case your iPad is running iOS 11, and it probably is, if you open up any app and now if you want to come back to the home screen, you need to swipe up, you're gonna get to this control center slash multitasking panel. And now once you click outside of any of these toggles, if you click somewhere to the background, you're gonna come back to the home screen. This is how you can get there with iOS 11. In the upcoming iOS 12, it's gonna be even more simple because it's gonna work the way it works on the iPhone 10. So if you are inside any app, you just swipe up and you will instantly be at the home screen. So if you don't know what that is, you just open up any app and if you want to come back, you just swipe up and you are at home. So that's how it's going to work in the iOS 12. And if you want to check it out, you can of course download the beta version to your iPad, considering of course that it is a newer iPad. If you have for example like me the iPad mini 4, you should definitely be able to get it, but considering that your home button isn't working or for whatever reason you are trying to get virtual home button, then you probably have an older iPad that doesn't support the iOS 12 or iOS 11. In case you are stuck on the iOS 10 or iOS 9, then the only option for you is to use the assistive touch in order to get back to the home screen. And now this would be everything what I wanted to say in this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please leave a like to let me know that you enjoyed it and that you liked this video. For more content like this and also for more advanced stuff, hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video guys. Peace out.